Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is December 20th. Man, it's getting close to Christmas. Uh, December 20th of 2018. And um, it's almost 6 a.m. in the morning. This is going to be short. I promise you this is going to be short. Um, just wanted to update you a little bit. Changes. I make changes every day, right? I just now have one monitor in front of me. My uh, LG 27-inch, um, I believe. It's 4K, but I'm not using it in 4K mode. I still have both cameras hooked up. Uh, this is the Logitech uh, 930 E, I believe. It's on top of the monitor. Over here on a tripod is uh, the Logitech Bree. It's on a tripod that's sitting on the table. Over there is a Roku TV. I've been watching, uh, I've got it on pause right now. I'm watching uh, Windows Weekly from Twit TV. My nose itches. I finished off my night medication. About time to uh, get the new for the 20th thing and get ready to take my morning medication. I started doing my uh, blood sugar again. Um, and that is my diabetes uh, thing here, and let's see, a logbook. Let's see how this shows up. There we, I think it, there we go. That's one reason I um, tried to get this a little bit of an angle from the light up there. Uh, yesterday in the morning, my blood sugar was 90. Uh, the day before, it was 86. Uh, the day before that, it was 101. So my blood sugar is doing uh, really, I'm, I'm looking back, woo. What did I do this day? 146. But my blood sugar has been doing really well. I've started taking it again. We had, we had a bunch of can pre, pre-Christmas candy and stuff. Uh, and I been eating too much of it and so I didn't take my blood sugar for quite a while. Now I'm trying to do better. Um, what else did I want to tell you? I am going to try to start, I've had this for a year or two years or whatever. Not sure how long I've had this thing. It looks brand new, that's because I've never used it. I'm going to try to study for my general class license, ha amateur radio license. I have the technician's class, going to try to study. I can also study online and uh, I've paid for it online. You can do it for free, but there's also, you know, they you pay a few dollars and he stores the data, does all that kind of stuff. Uh, I've paid, I don't know, how, at least Two to, and the thing, I think they're pretty generous. Two or three years you get to, uh, and uh, I pay and then I never do it. I'm going to pay again. And um, take the test. There's uh, the Cowtown Amateur Radio Club here. I'm in Fort Worth, and there in Fort Worth they have a couple of repeaters, and they have a... Uh, clubhouse and every other Thursday they have a meeting and they do testing I think they do it at, at every time they have a I think let's see or do they have a meeting every Thursday and then every other they I forget but I uh, I think though there's their ham fest is coming up I haven't been to a ham fest in 
Texas, and uh, I went to one or two in Kansas City, Missouri. I went to one in Miami. That was a terrible one. They were just were not organized at all. They were, it was just was not good at all. I haven't been to the Cowtown Ham Fest. I haven't joined either. I'm going to join the, probably I'll do it when I'm there. But I'm going to take the ham test. I'm planning on taking it at the ham, at the, uh, and maybe I'll, I will then have a general class amateur radio operator's license. The technician's class that I have lets me do everything really that I want to do. But I still want to get the uh, general class, which would give me some additional privileges and bands and things that I could use. So, uh, okay, I am going to be brief. I know you've heard that a million times. I have three HTs handheld, amateur radio radio. I have the... Uh, I think all three of yeah all three of them are the inexpensive uh, Chinese radios. They work okay, but I think I'm going to go ahead and get a Yezu. It does uh, well. I have two of the handhelds. I have do digital, the Chinese ones, uh, DMR, but this is uh, Fusion, and this one right now is on sale until the end of uh, the year, and I think it's $139. It looks like a really good rate. Well, I've, I've watched the YouTube reviews and uh, whatever, so it is a good, you know, amateur radio uh, for the money. So I think I'll probably be buying that. Uh, Maybe I should wait till the ham fest. I might get a, uh, but right now there's a, Yezu is giving, I think, about $30 off. And so it's normally like $160 or $70. And I think it's about $139 or something. So I may be purchasing one of these here before I go to the ham fest. I'm going to, if I purchase a table on time, I'm going to have a uh, table set up out there. And uh, sometimes the tables go fast, and I haven't purchased one yet. Uh, I think the tables are $35. Um, but um, I'm going to sell a whole bunch of stuff that I have here. A lot, a lot of it is stuff that I got that I was sent when I was doing reviews for Amazon sellers. And I've got a quite a bit of stuff and I'm just going to, uh, as you know, I'm limited in space here in this apartment because I'm sharing the apartment with my grown son and my ex-wife. And so basically this is my cell here. Everything is uh, in this room. So I'm gonna sell a bunch of stuff. I have a table out there. So if you're in the Fort Worth area and if you're um, you don't have to be an amateur radio operator but there is a $10 cost to get in. But there'll be as you can see people will have these tables set up and they'll be selling uh, all types of amateur radio stuff and some other stuff will I'm sure will be there also being sold. So I guess that's, um, if you're an amateur radio operator and you are using Fusion, uh, when I get this new radio, maybe let me know and we'll have a chat off pop in or you can pop into uh, one of the wires rooms as soon as I figure out how to do it and I understand it's easy to do uh, I'll pop into one of the wires room and maybe we can have a little chat on the radio uh, not a long way we don't want to tie up the room because we could talk on the cell phone or in a chat room or something anyway uh, Uh, 
I do thank you. Oh, wait a minute. I wanted to do something else. No, I'm not going to because then I'll <laughs> then I'll be I have lied to you and made this a long one. Thank you very much for watching. Let's see. Uh, it's December 18th of 2018. And it is time for me to send data in on my pacemaker that I have in me. I do this every three months. Then once a year, I actually go to the doctor's office, cardiologist's office. See if I remember how to do this. I only do it every three months. Oh, I got it. That's right. I have to use my cell phone also. Okay. Let's see. MLC Smart. Let's see which. Let's see here. Don't think it's showing up good. Anyway, it's. Yeah, let's see, maybe try the other uh, camera. Maybe that'll work. I actually think I have too much light in here. Okay. Don't think we need the tracking, do we? Okay, MCL Smart. Medtronics. Okay, it gives me the instructions. Let's see here. Okay, let's see. Amazon Alexa has stopped. Pair with reader. I never had to, this is. Okay, now it's showing me putting it over the heart. And there is the green line thing there. Can you see that at the bottom? See the green bar moving there at the bottom? It's getting the data from my pacemaker that I have in my chest. Okay, let me look at this, make sure, let's see. My care link smart. It'll get the data, then it will transmit it to the cardiologist's office. I have a feeling, though, that it's probably not actually going to the cardiologist's office. It probably goes to, you know, the data, some data bank someplace else, and then it's, I don't know how it works. It's above my pay grade. Like I said, once a year I go to the cardiologist's office. They have me fill out a form, you know. Have you had any uh, 
rapid heartbeat. If you had this or that, if I put down heart pounding or something like that, the doctor looks at the printout and says, no, you know. Also, of course, it tells them how much power is left in my battery. Okay, the green light is okay. Now I can actually remove. Don't need to hold that there. It's got the data. And now I don't have to worry about disrupting it, I guess. It's going to transmit it. Uh, I'm so weak, I, uh, not because of the pacemaker, just... Come on, transmit it. Why is it not transmitting it? I'm looking up at the top of the phone. It shows my Wi-Fi is not connected, but it should be transmitting the data anyway. I do have a cell phone connection. And why the Wi-Fi is not connected, I don't know. And I think my phone maybe have the setting to transmit data by Wi-Fi and not over. I have a, I don't know what's going on. My Wi-Fi set up here. I have a guest. Nobody uses it. I have a guest Wi-Fi. Yeah, it should be transmitting it. I don't need this. Because I don't think our regular Wi-Fi is working for some reason with, with this right now. Okay, come on. Yeah, the data is not going. Okay, well, I'm going to have to end this because I want to figure out uh, why the Wi-Fi is... or go into the settings and say... I need to stop this. I need to figure out this problem. Never had this happen before. I've been doing this for years, so... Thank you very much for watching.